Big pull. to doing American Strongest Athletes mm -hmm. with Disabilities. And a lot of the exercises I've seen, I was doing already to try to rehab myself to, you know, keep my posture, keep doing. So I gave it a try. And prior to giving it a try, we had maybe two or three sessions together. Yep. Because I really had no idea what technique to use. I was running strictly on less power. Yep. Winded up winning in our division for the America, which qualified me for the Worlds, which I was going to be doing. Right. Until I found out it was, you know... Up in Canada. Up in Canada, yeah. you know, an hour and a half north of Watertown. And we continued, that's really when, you know, we joined a family and, and started training. And yeah. Told you about really what disabled strongman is, is all about. So we've learned, we've learned a lot of things through the last year and a half, roughly. And now we're uh, a week away from Arnold's um, where for a little bit we weren't sure what was going to happen there, whether you're going to go there or back to uh, America's Strongest. And uh, now talk me, in, talk me about making that decision to go to basically compete against the best in the world at the biggest fitness contest in the world. Well, when you get invited uh, to the Arnold, it's very hard to try to count. It's sort of like earning your spot to go to the Super Bowl and match it up. Right. You, you, you go and do it and you compete, just even competing um, with these great people that I compete against is an honor. Um, the, these people are an amazing group of people. Um, we really we want no sympathy. Um, we want to show people what we're capable of doing so it allows other people to see, hey, if, if these crazy guys can do this stuff, I could do normal things. Right. And... Just for, for a reference, uh, you are not into the normal age range of where people start in this sport. <laughs> no, anything even, like that. Even though I've, I've been training, you know, for, since I've been 14 years old, you know, I've only been doing strongman for one year. Now yeah. I mean, I'm going on 57 here, so you know, I have more scar tissue and I'm held together with Velcro basically. <laughs> but, but again, we still try to just get it done. Here. Well, in 2001, I was involved, you know, obviously with, with the World Trade Center. I spent um, quite a while down there first doing the rescue, then the recovery, you know, um, going into places where it probably should have been equipment that didn't do any good. Subsequently, in around 2004, I started feeling a little, a little bit fun. I started losing my balance. And it got progressively worse, and I attributed it first maybe like a hip injury or something like that, muscular. Because that's how we are. Yes, yeah, we yeah. deny everything, of course. Yes. <laughs> Training has probably, believe it or not, kept me alive. Because with the neuromuscular disease I have, I'm not supposed to be able to feel the move. But even though um, it was very hard at times, you know, uh, I have a gym downstairs in the house. I used to attach a rope to all the, all the columns downstairs so I could, you know, walk along the rope. I'd come upstairs and after squatting on the machine line on the kitchen floor for two hours, my poor wife looked at me and had no idea what to do. It was funny the first time we had the Conan's wheel in here, and you're like, I'm trying. I'm like, all right, whatever you want to do, man. You step right up just like anybody did. You stepped out of your chair, picked it up, and you take your steps. And Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I also managed to do the standing bike because I stood up and did after not being able to stand up and do it for 12 years. Right. How'd that feel? Good. So it, what? It, it's good because, you know what, we're 
uh, in a group of people mm -hmm. and a great facility in the gym here where everyone supports each other that we do. Yep. It, 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 it's competitive, but we're competing against ourselves and everyone pushes everyone to do better. Are you good? Is there anything else you want to accomplish in this sport at that point? Or you never know. You're keeping that one close to your chest. You never say never. <laughs>